called Wokai because Wokai means I start in Chinese. And what we're trying to do is give people the opportunity to start their own businesses and change their own lives. We all know that the global economy is a source of great wealth. We also know that most of that wealth is divided unevenly. In a country like China, with 1.3 billion people and one of the most rapidly developing economies in the world, the gap between the rich and the poor is growing at an alarming rate. In China alone, more people live under the dollar-a-day poverty line than the entire population of Russia. For many, extreme poverty makes daily life a struggle and the dream of a better future seem impossibly out of reach. We've heard statistics like these before, and at first they seem to reveal a bleak and even hopeless situation. Among the economically disadvantaged, new opportunities are opening up at the smallest levels. Raising ducks or opening a roadside vegetable stand can be an enterprise that allows an entire family to survive and eventually prosper. All most people need is a little help at the beginning to make use of opportunities that already exist. The Chinese philosopher Confucius once said, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he'll eat for a lifetime. While many past efforts have focused on simply giving handouts to the poor, a new organization called Warkai has decided to employ a time-tested strategy designed to empower the poor in rural China to lift themselves from poverty. That strategy is called microfinance. I think that microfinance, specifically in China where you have such a huge gap between the rich and the poor and people in rural areas really don't have opportunities to change their lot in life it is a wonderful opportunity for people to kind of take hold of their lives and lift themselves from poverty. Since its inception in the late 1970s microfinance has proven successful for millions of people around the globe. The loans given by Warkai's field partner in Sichuan are repaid by borrowers at a rate of over 98 percent much higher than at most traditional banks. Borrowers use loans to do all sorts of things, from raising crops to financing small businesses. Many start off with small loans and grow their businesses over time to become sustainable. Hundreds of kilometers southwest of Beijing, in the countryside of Sichuan province, people are using microloans to help their small businesses survive and prosper. Wu Chong Lan used her loan to open a small distillery to make the traditional rice wine called baijiu. The first time I took out a loan to start my alcohol factory, I took out 2,000 Chinese yuan. And then I took out 4,000 yuan. I'd like to take out another loan for 10,000 yuan. I want to move the kitchen over there. The limit for a loan is 10,000 yuan, so I can't take out that much. But 9,500 yuan is okay too. I will take out a 9,500 yuan loan. These small loans are really helpful. If I want to buy something tomorrow, I can go and buy something tomorrow. I've prospered with these loans, so I have to thank you. <laughs> Life in the mountainous Sichuan region of China is not easy. When Zhou Chenggu took out his first loan, his only income was from begging and occasional day labor. He took out a loan equivalent to less than $50 for an entire year to raise a small pig. At the end of the year, he paid back his loan plus interest and had enough money left over to build a makeshift house. When we sat down with Zhou Chenggu, he told us about his experience starting a micro-enterprise. With a further loan of 1,000 yuan, he bought an ox that would provide a ploughing service to other local farmers. After increasing this loan to 2,000 yuan, he was able to expand the enterprise to two oxen. 
Zhou Changgu told us that now, for the first time in his life, he has confidence in himself and is hopeful about the future. He can afford to eat meat and invest in improving his home. Walkai connects people from entirely different worlds to empower those in need to start small businesses. Courtney Highland, a marketing director for American Express in Beijing, tells us about her experience making a contribution through Walkai. China, as we read about it in the papers in the West, is developing really fast, but kind of a, a side effect of that development is a huge wealth gap. And as the richer get richer, the poorer are getting poorer. And if you live in Beijing and you travel around China, you can see that people are not no longer supported by the state, and they need the helping hand of microfinance. They need small loans to help them start their own businesses because they're no longer supported by the government. And there's a huge number of people that really need that assistance. In Sichuan, Courtney's small loan is helping a family out of poverty. The Lee family had made a successful start with microfinance, building a profitable business raising pigs and cows. When a massive earthquake destroyed much of their property, they took out a loan to rebuild their business. With this loan, they will also purchase ducks and geese and develop their farm. Thank you for helping and supporting us. In the future, I want to try rabbit farming and raising more pigs. I will build a nice chicken and duck farm. Also, I'd like to try aquaculture. Well, that's kind of a draw of Wakai is that you can just go online and it uses Google Checkout. You just kind of sign on. You can look at all different people and the businesses that they want to start, how much money they're asking for, and how they plan to start their business, and what a little bit about their lives. So you can make an educated decision about where you want your money to go and how you're going to spend it. And then you just kind of pick, click, <laughs> and it's over. It's done. And you can watch as it gets paid back. And then when it is paid back, you can give it to someone else to start another business. And you're investing in someone's business as opposed to just putting your money somewhere, and you never really see a result. It was Wolka, you see a result. We invested 100,000 yuan into the pig farm. Some of this money came from my husband who worked in Guangdong province and invested the money he made into the pig farm. After the earthquake, our house and kitchen were destroyed and we lost some of our pigs. So now, because of microloans, we were able to purchase geese and ducks. This support has been really useful for us. Even though we have to pay back our loans every month or half month, we are still thankful. <laughs> Log on to walkai.org and help us grow microfinance in China. We hope that you will take this opportunity to make a huge difference in someone's life.